Hi, I'm Lydia. I'm here with my fellow culinary classmates, Isabel and Jason, and today we will be showing you step-by-step -step how to make fried rice. To make your fried rice, the ingredients you will need are four cups cold cooked rice, three slices of bacon chopped, eight ounces Portuguese sausage minced, one fourth cup onion minced, two large eggs, one tablespoon oil, one third cup oyster sauce, and five to ten fern shoot. Special equipment you will need is rice cooker, frying pan, cutting board, and a knife. To prepare the meat, slice three pieces of bacon into small pieces. Then mince the Portuguese sausage. In place of the two meat, you can substitute these for fish cake, spam, chicken, or any other preferred meats or vegetables. Then mince the Portuguese sausage. In place of the two meat, you can substitute these for fish cake, spam, chicken, or any other preferred meats or vegetables. To prepare the eggs, first lightly beat them. Heat a pan and add a tablespoon of oil. It is recommended that you use the same pan that you are going to be making the fried rice in so there will be less dishes. Be sure to only use wooden, rubber, or plastic utensils with the frying pan. Be sure to cook the eggs thoroughly so that bacteria does not survive. cook four cups of rice if not done so already. Dry rice that has been left over makes the best fried rice. Then wash your fern shoots, which is a local product, and make sure to clean off the brown furries from the stems. When dicing the fern shoot, make sure to dice them into small pieces, as well as use a sharp knife opposed to a dull knife. Instead of the fern shoots, you can also substitute this with green onions. Finally, dice your onion into small pieces around 1 4th to 1 half inch in size and set aside. Set your pan to medium high and fry your bacon for a few minutes. Now we're going to add the Portuguese sausage and continue to fry for a few more minutes.
Ensure you remove the excess grease as necessary. Next, we'll add our onions and cook for a few more minutes. And finally, we're going to add our fern sheets, which add more color to the dish and continue to cook until the onions are transparent. For our next step, we're going to add the rice and break it up to remove the clumps. Now we will stir fry it for a few minutes. Finally, we're going to stir in the oyster sauce and be sure it's mixed thoroughly to evenly distribute the oyster sauce throughout the rice. Add your scrambled eggs back into your pan and mix this in thoroughly. Once well combined, place your rice on a plate and serve while hot. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed making this fried rice with your friends and family as much as we did.